Hey art friends, I hope you're really excited about the lesson today. We're gonna to use watercolor pencils and we're gonna make this beautiful sunset. Now, if you don't have a set of watercolor pencils, I'll leave a link below this video where parents and teachers can click that link and go over to Arteza.com and purchase the same set that I'm gonna to use today. Now, I wanna let you guys know that Arteza didn't pay for this video, but they did send us free art supplies. I'm always excited to get free stuff. But I did want to test them out because I'd never heard about this brand before. I wanted to make sure that they were awesome and that I loved using them before I recommended them to our art friends, to you guys. In this lesson, we're going to be using the Woodless watercolor pencils. I love this set. And we're also using their watercolor paper, which is made specifically for kids. Standard watercolor paper is super thick and this stuff is a little thinner, but I still like using it. Now they also sent this expert version. There's a set of 72 pencils in here, which is amazing. There's so many colors to choose from. Look at this, this is the first level. Pretty cool colors. Look at this, a second level, and even a third level of watercolor pencils. Every single color you could ever possibly think of is in this set. Now they're a little more expensive than the woodless colored pencils, but I'll leave a link below this video where you can check these out too. Now the last thing they sent us were these fine liner pens. And it's a set of 48 and there's a lot of colors in there too. Now these pens are super thin and they're great for making these fun patterns or doodles. Now we're gonna save this for a different lesson, but I'll also leave a link below this video where you can check these out too. All right, I hope you guys are ready. You got your watercolor pencils and your paper and you're ready to follow along with me. We're gonna use five colors for this lesson. We're using the yellow, orange, purple, red, and black. Now this might look a little weird. We have a clipboard and some paper taped to it. I'm using duct tape, but you can use scotch tape. And I cut the piece of paper in half so that it will fit on my clipboard. This is gonna help our paper stay flat when we're painting and also when it dries. So you can pause the video if you wanna take the time to prep your paper just like this. We're first gonna use our orange watercolor pencil and we're gonna put a horizontal line right here. I'm not gonna put it right in the middle. I'm gonna put it slightly below it. Now this line we can put in dark once we get it where we want it. And then we're gonna fade up. So I'm gonna start dark and then it's gonna get lighter as I go up. During this video, I'm also gonna fast forward and you can always pause the video to take extra time to finish a step. Next, we're gonna come up to the top and we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna go down. So I'm gonna start really dark right here. And then we're gonna fade or get lighter as we go down. Now it doesn't have to look perfect. You can have streaks and texture in there so it looks like clouds. This is gonna be our sky coming down to the water. Now we're gonna come down to the very bottom and we're gonna start dark, press really hard, and then we're gonna fade and get lighter towards the horizon. Now this bottom part is the water. So I made it darker, it's mostly orange, but it gets lighter right at the horizon. Next, let's switch to our red watercolor pencil. I'm gonna start down here at the bottom and I'm gonna put another layer on top, but I'm gonna press really hard down here and then get lighter towards the top. Now I'm gonna also add a layer of red to the top, the very top of our sky. And then I'm also gonna fade or get lighter as I go down towards the water. All right, it's looking awesome, isn't it? We're gonna switch to our yellow and we're gonna go on top of everything. We're gonna start down here at the bottom. And we're gonna add this yellow layer. We're pressing extremely hard so that it goes down nice and thick and we're gonna put a layer of yellow on top of everything except at the very top. Now this is really why I like this brand. It's because the colors are bright and it goes down nice and thick. Now we're gonna switch to our purple and we're gonna press hard at the very top of our paper and then get lighter as we overlap the red and the orange. Next, I'm gonna switch back to my orange and go back over the purple. I didn't go over it all the way to the top, just the part where I started getting lighter. 
Next, we're gonna paint. So we've got a cup of water and we've got our paint brushes. I'm gonna use this big one, but if you don't have one this size, you can just use a regular size paintbrush. It'll work just fine. This is gonna help this step go faster though because we can cover a lot of area. Now, one of the secrets to using watercolor pencils is to not use very much water. We only need a little bit. So we have a paper towel that we can get our paintbrush wet first, and then we can get a lot of that water out, and then we're gonna drag our paintbrush across our painting. Look at that, look how smooth it's getting. Now I'm gonna dip the paintbrush back in the water and rinse out all of that extra paint so that we just have water on there. And we also wanna get a lot of that water off of our brush because we don't need to soak it. We, don't, we just need a little bit to just turn it into paint. Doesn't that look really pretty? Now another reason why you don't wanna use a lot of water is because it'll just wash it off of your paper. And we wanna leave the colors bright and thick. Now with this huge brush, it only took a few strokes to turn this into a painting. If you have a smaller brush, you can take the extra time to go through the whole thing and smooth it out. We need to let this dry, so we'll come back in a few minutes. We're back and our paper is all dry. Next, we're gonna use our black watercolor pencil to draw on top of our sunset. This part I'm gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same drawing, or you can use your creativity to draw whatever you want. I'm all finished adding the grass. I hope you guys use your imagination to draw whatever you want. You could even add a boat or maybe even some birds in the background. Now that we're finished, we can remove the tape and I want to show you how cool this is gonna look once this is all off. Now it went a little too fast so it pulled up some of the painting and that's why you don't want to use duct tape. It's much better to use masking tape, but this is all I had and I didn't want to wait to get some masking tape. So this still works, you just wanna pull a little slower. It also pulls up some of the paper if you go too fast. So here we go, it's a lot slower, and we didn't pull up as much paper. Look how amazing it turned out now that the tape is removed. It's left this clean white border all the way around our painting. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and using your watercolor pencils to make this beautiful sunset. I'm sure your paintings turned out amazing too. If you haven't already, be sure to check out Arteza.com. I'll leave those links below the video and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.